What's up, DT fans? Last week, we dropped our new show, Untold Stories with Unknown People with Black Oak TV. And if you want to see it, just go to blackoak.tv. You see it right in the middle, Untold Stories. As you scroll down, it's available on everything. iPhone, Android TV, Roku, Android TV, Fire TV, all the TVs. So go to the middle, click Untold Stories with Unknown People, and come join us for a nice, fun-filled time with Black Oak TV. Thank you, guys. We love you. Your class of 95 prom king is... He was easily gonna win the class of 98 prom king. Your class of 96 prom king is... He had it all. Clothes, girls, even Jabro jeans. Your class of 97 prom king is... Jordan, Jordan Michael. Michaels! He was the man. Until... Shocking news heard around high school, Jordan Michaels, the popular student here at Charter High School, has decided to transfer to a private school. When my dog died, I was devastated. I, I no longer wanted to be king of prom. I didn't question it. Because I never questioned Jordan. After Jordan left the school, it was never the same. But he would still show up and do what we like to call post up. It wasn't until the uh, bad boys came to charter that I started to consider it coming back. The bad boys were a new transfer to our school. They was led by this guy named Thomas Isaiah. And he went around the halls talking trash, saying he gonna be the new prom king. I took it personally. Everyone was anticipating his first day back because everybody knew it would be a showdown between the bad boys and the Jordan bullies. Everybody in the school thought it would be a fight, but... We didn't fight because we didn't like to get dirty. So we had a backhand compliment battle instead. Yeah, yeah you spent all day in the mirror with those waves. He always fresh. What is it, the first day of school? That's why Jordan has both parents at home. But we knew after that showdown, we needed some help. We didn't have enough dogs on our team. We needed a real man. And that's when we got Rodman. Denise Rodman. Hi, my name is Denise Rodman. I joined the Bullies my senior year. Now, before I joined the Bullies, they was what I like to call some soft-ass niggas. When Denise joined the team, people knew now not to fuck with us. They knew we were the team not to mess with. And most importantly, they knew not to mess with me. Man, we were all excited because we knew this year, prom is about to be lit. People from the bad boys were talking shit that day. I was about to fight me a nigga. It was the perfect morning. But to my surprise, Jordan didn't come to school that day. Uh, to be honest, I was quite worried. I couldn't think about nothing else. Man, where the fuck was Jordan at that day? Breaking school news! Jordan Michaels is sick with fear poisoning! This man! I was in home mech when everyone started talking and a crazy rumor started circling around campus that the bad boys had something to do with it. I know the bad boys had something to do with it. I know they did. I've been eating ass for five years and nothing has happened to me. And you telling me all of a sudden on prom, I eat ass and I'm sick? Come on, man. I mean, come on, use your common sense. It was time for prom, and still no Jordans. I mean, we were calling him and nothing. Should I do the ghosting? I ain't like how that felt. Nah, wasn't looking good for us. I was so fucking scared. 
Scotty was acting like a little bitch. <laughs> we like an hour in and they about to announce the prom king. <laughs> and at this point, we kind of knew what was about to happen. When the student president got on stage to announce the winner, we started to leave because we knew we had lost. But as soon as we opened that door to leave, down my nigga Jordan go. As I'm walking to the building, I could just, I felt the energy sucked out the arena. I mean, the uh, dance floor. And I saw Denise and Scotty leaving. And I was like, hey, where you guys going? We got a prom crown to win. Now, when Jordan walked in, you can see everybody changing their votes like it was Trump's second term. I wasn't worried about winning prom king. Um, one thing you got to know is that when you're in situations like this and you've done it countless of times and won over and over again, you just kind of just build a confidence that's undeniable and kind of arrogant, but it's who I am. I was so fucking scared. Okay guys, the votes are in. And the 98th student prom king of Charter High is... It's a tie, guys! It's a tie! There was only one way to figure it out. A motherfucking dance-off. A motherfucking dance-off. Dance I can admit Isaiah was a good dancer, but he didn't work as hard as me. See, that was my school. And when Isaiah transferred, I took that person. And the final tally is in. The 98 Charter High Prom King is for fourth straight time, Jordan Michaels! I couldn't believe it. We did it. I mean, he did it. Damn. I really need to get my own life. Four prom kings in a row. It's never been done. And the haters thought we couldn't do it. We have video of confession of Thomas talking about the day of prom when you got poisoned. Do you want to see it? I mean, look, whatever he says, I'm not going to believe him, but I'll watch it. I mean, I'll watch it. I didn't do it. <laughs> yeah, I believe him. 